the governor of the Central Bank of Iraq, Ali al-Alak, submitted a request to relieve him of his post to Prime Minister Mohammad al-Sadani, amid a series of issues and problems in the financial and banking sector in Iraq, which include the failure to control the dollar exchange rate on the black market. An informed source revealed to al mustakila today, Tuesday, that Al-Alak decided to submit his resignation after facing multiple problems in the financial sector, in addition to his inability to fulfill his promises to control the exchange rate. This request comes at a sensitive time for the Iraqi economy, which suffers from severe fluctuations in exchange rates and direct impacts on the local economy. The main reasons that prompted Al-Alak to submit his resignation are related to the ongoing difficulties in managing the financial and banking sector, in addition to the major challenges in controlling the dollar exchange rate on the black market. Since taking office, Al-Alak has made many promises to achieve financial stability, but he has faced great difficulties in implementing them, which has led to increasing pressure on him. A document obtained by al Mustakila today, Tuesday, revealed that the Speaker of Parliament has agreed to host the Governor of the Central Bank, Ali Mohsen Al-Alak, by the Parliamentary Integrity Committee. This hosting aims to discuss the challenges facing the Central Bank and investigate the reasons that led to the request for his resignation. Al-Alak's resignation could raise questions about the future of financial policy in Iraq. The central bank is central to economic stability, and any change in its leadership could have a significant impact on financial markets and confidence in the banking system. Iraq faces major economic challenges that require strong and qualified financial leadership. The most prominent of these challenges are, controlling the exchange rate, Iraq needs effective policies to control the dollar exchange rate and prevent speculation that leads to sharp fluctuations. Banking system reform, improving the efficiency and transparency of the banking system to keep pace with international standards. Combating corruption, promoting integrity and transparency in financial institutions to prevent corruption and restore investor confidence.